Hello and welcome to this weekend edition of the Daily Dose of Greek. And I want to mention to you a resource today about understanding English grammar. Many of you who have taken Greek at a Bible college or seminary had the experience of finally learning and understanding English grammatical terms when you were studying Greek. Well, recently a student mentioned to me this resource and I honestly had never heard of it before. Let me look at the publication. It's 2013. Um, so I had never heard of it, uh, but it's really good. And I want to commend it to you. It's called A Student Handbook of Greek and English Grammar by Robert Mondi and Peter L. Corrigan. I hope I'm pronouncing their names correctly. So this is actually written more for people studying classical Greek. The examples are from classical Greek, but the, uh, the English translation is given. It's very clearly written. It discusses everything from adjectives to pronouns. Uh, optative, uh, conditionals, all these different terms, clauses, giving, giving clear definitions as well as examples in both Greek, classical Greek, and the uh, English translation. So I was really happy to learn about this, a student handbook of Greek and English grammar by Mondi and Corrigan. As we're mentioning this, you may know we've in the past uh, had other resources similar to this. So I'll just run through those really quickly. One of them is by Frank Braun. This one is not specifically just for Greek students, but for any student studying another language who natively speaks English. It's entitled English Grammar for Language Students by Frank Braun. That's more of a pamphlet, uh, very short, but, but also helpful and clear, but really only looking at English, not, not another language explicitly alongside. We also have uh, more recently Kyle Greenwood's little dictionary here, Dictionary of English Grammar for Students of Biblical Languages. It's in, in a sort of dictionary alphabetical order and has gives an example in Hebrew, example in Greek, and translations in English. Very helpful, um, really nicely formatted, clearly formatted for beginning students. A classic little intro book here by Samuel Lamerson. It's uh, much more abbreviated, you know, just really um, very helpful, but also just very short and, and, and covering only the fundamentals. English Grammar to Ace New Testament Greek by Samuel Emerson. And then finally, I'll mention this. This is a dictionary, really a more Greek grammatical terms, but it does cover a lot of the, the same terminology of grammar here. It's Pocket Dictionary for the Study of New Testament Greek, and it has over 1,700 terms. The author is Matthew DeMoss. And so just random page you turn to inscription, instantaneous present, instrumental, intensive, intensive pronoun, uh, infer inferential, indirect discourse, diaresis. So all these terms that you might run into in a Greek grammar or you might run into in technical commentary are explained and often um, an example is given as well from scripture. So very, very helpful resource to be aware of. So don't buy all those. <laughs> <laughs> unless you need to, but it's good to be aware of them and perhaps one of them would meet a need that you have.